how do you navigate after that diagnosis? It's really difficult to find hope and purpose again because we immediately think, well, they told us to go home and get ready to die. So that's what I have to do. I have to get ready to die. Well, no one tells you how to get ready to die. <laughs> no one tells you that piece. They shouldn't be telling us to get ready to die. They should be telling us to go out and live, find yes. new hope, find new purpose. No one should ever be sent home to get ready to die. We can all have a tragic diagnosis given to us, whether it be dementia, cancer, whatever. And even if we know it's terminal, we still need to have and be given the hope and the encouragement to live until we reach that end piece. I'm a little horrified to think that a doctor gave you a diagnosis and then basically told you to go home and die. Um, I mean, that just seems to me just like, that just seems kind of horrifying, you know? So what would you have wanted that doctor, you know, to, to tell you, and, you know, or other medical professionals, what would you have wanted them to tell you that would have made a difference right away? You know, I have since worked really hard with my doctors in particular, but I, I, I try to get this message out there to, to as many of them as I can reach that don't tell people to go home and die. We need to equip doctors to have more resources at their fingertips to hand them and say, here's some resources for you. I'd like you to go home and get in touch with these people. Or we need to equip the doctors with a person, a liaison of someone who is living with dementia, who can sit down with that person in their family and talk to them. There's lots of us that are willing to do those kinds of things. And we need to change our whole educational component with doctors, nurses, the whole medical profession, because most of them get very little education, if any, around dementia. And if they do get any, it's very outdated old school, right? It's all about the end stage. Nobody tells you how to live until you hit the end stage. Yeah. So, so that's what we need to do.